tonight I'm going to show you how to find and photograph the planet Jupiter. Jupiter reached opposition on July 14th, which means it was at its closest approach to the Earth for the year. It will appear to be 68% bigger and 1.2 magnitudes brighter in the night sky. I'm here at Harbor Island tonight to try and time-lapse Jupiter rising above the San Diego skyline. I've never tried to line up a planet with anything, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Viewers here in the Northern Hemisphere will have a great opportunity to photograph Jupiter in the coming weeks. And if you have a decent telephoto lens, you might even be able to capture a couple of its moons in frame. My favorite app to quickly find Jupiter is Sky Guide. If you open it up and you search Jupiter real quick, you can see that it's already above the horizon just after dark and will continue to travel across the sky throughout the night. Opening the Planet Pro app, I can place a couple of pins, one for my subject and one for my location. I then jump into viewfinder mode and can see the planet should begin to enter frame just after 8.30 p.m. and only take a couple of minutes to pass above the buildings. You won't need a fancy camera or a big telescope to photograph Jupiter. Something as simple as a 70 to 200 at 200 millimeters is more than enough. I prefer the Sigma 150 to 600 lens with a two times extender so I get a nice shot at 1200 millimeters. I recommend using a higher ISO while keeping your aperture as low as the lens will allow. You definitely want to try to let as much light in and keep a shorter shutter speed to prevent any type of trailing in the planet or its moons. Jupiter's just leaving the frame and I'm finishing the time lapse. My alignment was slightly off. I was hoping it would rise from behind the advanced etiquette building, but it ended up being just to the left of it, which still made for a really nice shot. I also managed to get it above the Bayside building a couple minutes after. Let's watch those clips now. I got some really nice shots and overall I'm happy with what I captured tonight. While the time lapse was rolling, I went to the skyandtelescope.org website and found the Jupiter observation chart so I could correctly identify the moons. I was only able to get three of its moons in frame. Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa were all shining bright tonight. A couple nights ago I shot a quick time lapse and was really excited to see four of the moons in frame, including Io. I'll leave a link to the website in the description so you can also correctly identify which moons you capture. Alright, I just finished shooting Jupiter and now the waning moon is rising behind downtown. I'm going to try to capture a quick time lapse before I call it a night. That's it for this video. Be sure to tag me in your photos of Jupiter and follow me online at It Was The Light. Hit the subscribe button below and click the bell. Thanks for watching.